Oh my gosh, technology up to 321. Holy crap, that book is great. My efficiency is tops. Custom engine. Uh, no, we gotta research stuff though. I think there's a lot of stuff to research. Like, wait. Staff list game history. Over here? Oh, I probably have to click on me. Yeah, I'll, I will research. Ooh, medium games, 150,000 credits. Yeah, and then we're going level editor. We are going to make another technologically advanced, amazing thing. Which, uh, which game system do we want to propel into legendary status next? Hi, Eddie. I have followed your progress of Jormungandr games for a while, and it seem, uh, seems, I think you'll find, that your recent expansion you have started developing larger games. Medium games, yeah. Larger games deserve to be seen by more people. And this is where a publisher can come in handy. Okay. A publisher will market and publish your game around the world. They will also help fund development. In return, they keep most of the profits. But since the game will sell a lot more, it is usually still worth it. I can put you in touch with some publishers so you can look at some of the available contracts. Just let me know. Well, I just made like $3 million on one game and I didn't have a publisher, so I'm thinking maybe I'll be fine. I'm just saying. We completed the research, right? Okay. Then level editor. Yeah. How are you doing? Are you, are you doing anything right now? I don't think you're doing anything right now. Go ahead and research better dialogues. Yeah, go ahead and do the better dialogues. You'll be all right. Oh my god, monthly cost 54,000. Holy crap. That's really gone up. Uh, we gotta get another game going here soon. We're under 2 million and I still have to redo our engine. Just a reminder that we require you to pay back the agreed amount of pitifully low amount of cash in three months' time. Just take it now, man. Just take it now. Research. No? Okay. Uh, create custom engine then, because we gotta redo this thing to include the level editor and better dialogues. Mono sound. I wonder if we can push sound to the new level too. Hmm. All right. Game engine three. This is IT version. Um. Well. <sighs> Better dialogues and level editor. I guess one point two still. No version. One point three. Really. I mean, because we added on two different things. Well. Fuck it. It's version 2.0. It's great. It's amazing. There we go. Have fun. And we're both turning away at it. Oh my god, look at how quickly it's going up. We can take on some serious contracts if this is how it works. Holy crap. Look at it go. We could fill another position and get another design dude, but right now I think we're focusing on just cutting edge technology. And uh I think we're I think we'll be okay here. There we go. A couple more research points at the very end. ITV 2.0 is now complete. Darn right. Whew, fine publishing deal. How much is it? I mean, how much? what percentage do they do? Using a publisher is a great way to get your games in front of a large audience, which in turn helps to grow your fan base. Once your fan base is big enough, you can self-publish your larger games without the need for a publisher. For medium games, you should aim to have at least 100,000 fans before you publish them yourself. Oh. I don't have 100,000 fans. To use a publisher, you need to sign a contract. The contract will dictate what game you need to create. Pay attention to all the de details. Most importantly, the minimum score and the contract dictates. If the game you release does not meet the minimum score, you'll have to pay a penalty, which would be costly. Okay. Are we talking like design and tech score? It is important to pay attention to the royalty rate. The higher the rate, the more money you will make from the contract. Okay, so I make royalties on it. Okay. Any topics less strategy. Minimum score five. Game size medium. Target audience young. Ugh, fuck young, dude. No, let's I'm not like a hardcore. Music music RPG. What the fuck is this? Um uh, what game was that with uh, that one dude who does the things in School of Rock? That game. Whatever it's called. I don't know. Eleven percent royalties though. Oh, jeez. These are bad. These are awful. We'll make our own. I don't care what they say. Develop new game. 
everyone again uh small again at least i can choose i'm not locked into medium god that's expensive we'll go small again uh pick topic we'll go racing again would people hate me if i did racing already i mean i just did a racing game uh spa okay i got it space adventure no space strategy space adventure for the PC. Using IT version 2. It's for everyone. Is there a problem here? Should I rename it? Is that what you're waiting for? Oh, I didn't pick a genre. Okay. Um, adventure, I think, is what I wanted. Yeah. Space Quest. Wait, is that what I called it before? Space Quest? Or was it space something else? Space... Space, uh, that's what it was, deep, space, two. Um, yeah, fuck it, deep space, two, deep space, two. There we go, Space Adventure PCIT version two, 2D graphics version two. Mm, start development, go. Are we both working on this? I think we both are. Linear story, yes, saving game, yes, steering wheel, yes. Oh my god, steering wheel, I forgot about that. That'll be odd. Story and quest. It's a space adventure game, so we're going to need a little bit more of that, I'm thinking. Maybe not so much. Really emphasis on gameplay. It's kind of our trademark thing. There we go. Yeah, we're both working on it. Oh, look at all the little bloops everywhere. We're both working at max efficiency. There's no bar next to us. Better dialogues, yes. Level editor, yes. Level editor for a space adventure game. What more could you ask for? It's like Minecraft, but in space. Dialogues, level design, art of... Well, actually, it's Minecraft in space with a level editor. It's actually nothing like Minecraft. Um, dialogues, level design, artificial intelligence. Maybe not so much there. Dialogues, yeah, let's focus a little bit on those because those are level three. Level design mostly, though. Really going for an open-ended approach here. Mmm, technology points. Mm, some of those blips contain two at once. Mono sound, yes. Sound, yes. Graphics, yes. World design... Let's actually cut down on the sound a little bit. It's a space game. Yeah, a little more on graphic. There we go. It's beautiful. And that's the uh, the bailout money. 190000 has been deducted. Still sitting at just over a million dollars, though. Still got a good bit of money. Wow. Okay, fix those bugs. There we go. 16 design, 24 technology. 25 te 26 technology. And we're good. Wow, that's technologically hardcore. This thing is absolutely amazing. Engine leveled up. Stirring quests, almost there. AI leveled up to level 3. World design leveled up to level 3. 2D graphics version 2, almost leveled up. I got a little bit of experience. And who's here in your belly? Get a little bit of experience as well. Let's release it. Better AI and an open world. Oh my god, open world. I need that for a space adventure game with a level editor. Uh Okay. Okay, we'll do it. New research available. Better AI, open world. We'll do that, but we'll do it later because I don't want to release another space adventure game so soon. This first review is for our newly released game, Deep Space 2. Came in. Ooh, I see some tens flash in there. Seven. Good game. All right. I'm not expecting this to be anything too amazing. I mean, it's technologically kind of a breakthrough, but the design was a bit lower than it could have been. Could have been more, as Game Hero says, and shows potential. Kind of just a decent game, but with 3.2 thousand fans, who knows what'll happen. First month, or first week, 8,000 sales, not horrible. Made a little bit of money. I think we're getting a profit off of this. I don't know how long it'll be around, though. Um... I want to research that open world. 40,000, I can do that. 15, yeah. 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 All right. Um, no, don't read another book. I feel like I should still research the gamepad, but maybe it's outdated now. Better AI. Ooh, I got it. We'll make another, uh, we'll make like a really cool, like a sci-fi action game or maybe a military action game with a level editor and really good AI. It'll be like Crisis 3 or something like that. Wouldn't that be neat? 
He's got the open world done. I got the AI done. Let's just do a contract here. Uh, click on the building so everybody inside the building works on it. That makes sense. Find contract work. Yeah, we can probably do some really nice stuff. Set up computers. Install Micronoft Boss on computers. Nice. Boss. What a cool name for software. Boss. I'll help with that. I'll get in on that. Three design. Not very much technology. Technology. It's what we do. Let's accept it. Do it. Oh my gosh, look at that go. I think we got it. Two people turning away on the same project. Phenomenal. Today, Ninvento announced the much-anticipated successor to the popular TES console. This is the greatest console we have ever built. It comes with state-of-the-art 16-bit graphics and sound. It is simply super, and that's why we called it the Super TES. That looks a bit like what I've got over there. Fans around the world have been waiting for this moment, and it seems that they will not be disappointed. Sounds exciting. Maybe we can get in on it with our uh, with our action game. Yeah? Well done. We'll transfer 23000 to your account. Yay, contract payment. All right, we got to do another contract, though. Library software, go. Turn them out, get as much money as we can while Deep Space 2 trails off at 23,700 units generating... 160,000 in sales. Not bad. Not bad. This next game, though, this is going to be a big one. It's going to be huge. It's going to be very expensive, and it's probably going to put us in debt again. But it's going to be revolutionary. It's going to be a military shooter with an open world. It's going to be for the new Super TES. Save games, sound, everything. Steering wheel. Why not? From time to time, your employees need to recharge their batteries and go on vacation. They can tell that an employee is in need of rest when their efficiency steadily decreases. To give them a holiday, just click on them and select Send on Vacation. Hmm. Well, I would like everybody to be top-notch. Okay, before you do that, can I have you read a book? Oops, click him. There we go, Train. Uh, read code incomplete, because it's a pretty cool thing as far as technology goes. Start training, then we'll send you on vacation. You can refuel. I'll man the place while you're away. No problem. And, uh, you can come back fully recharged. Maybe we'll have enough money sitting around, and we'll get started on this. While you do that, I will turn out just a small little game. Develop new game. Just, uh, E for everyone topic. Just a werewolf. Werewolf simulator for the PC game engine no yeah no 35,000 35,000 it's like 35,000 across the board isn't it can I not do the engine ah the TES by Nintendo has been released this the super TES yeah we're gonna get in on that um not immediately though Right, small, everyone. Topic, werewolf, genre, RPG. Let's actually, come on, a little realistic. Werewolf RPG for the PC. No engine. This is going to be a small, cheap thing. Um, howl. Uh, ho ho howl. 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 You know, Howl. 2D graphics, it's not text-based. Come on, it's for the PC, we're past this. Engine, not so much, because we don't really have an engine. Story and quests, yeah, gameplay, heck yeah. Let's focus on the sound, I think, too. Because I think we're about to level up with sound. Uh, dialogue, sure. AI, yeah, because AI is kind of becoming our thing. Level design, yeah, of course. Oh, you're done. Okay, cool. Uh, are you still helping me with this? You are. Okay, stick around for this little project and then go on vacation. Sound and graphics mostly. World design, not quite as much. Basic sounds. There. All right, and he's starting to drop now. I got this, man. Go, go on vacation. Have fun. Uh, I'm fading into an ethereal world. This is my type of vacation. Uh, you introduced a bug. Fix it. There you go. There you go. Design. We good? Oh my god, his vacation was quick. Holy shit. Oh, I guess it was already a week. 
That was much faster than I thought. Here, I was hoping this would be a project that would go on while he was away. I thought maybe he'd be, you know, on vacation for months, but... Alright, so vacations. Not really that big of a deal. Sturian quests leveled up, everything else kind of sort of hovering around that level 3 area. Nice. Let's release it. It's a new record as far as design goes. Technology, not really, but still pretty good. Simple cutscenes that'll be amazing for our, uh, for our next amazing thing. Go ahead. Um... Make me think. Go for it. You work on that. Ah, the reviews. And then I'll, I'm going to start researching the, uh, the simple cutscenes, if I can. Played it for days. Eight from Star Games. Very enjoyable. From Informed Gamer, giving it an eight. An eight from Werewolf and RPG being a great combination, says Game Hero. Not bad. And a seven from All Games. Enjoyable. I'm okay with that. I will research those simple cutscenes. Okay, so he's getting a lot of research points for uh, for the make me think thing. That's okay. I could use research points. I try to be cutting edge, so I need a lot of research. The media is abuzz with the latest news from this year's entertainment conference in a surprise announcement of Va Voni. Yeah, Voni. It'd be Voni. Um, although what double end looks like Voni. Voni, a company known for General Electronics, has presented a prototype console called the Play System. That thing looks wild. Look at that. It looks futuristic. Apparently, Vani has collaborated with Ninvento. Hey, Nintendo, Ninvento and I are like bros. I propelled their system to number one. Maybe. Apparently, Vani has has collaborated with Ninvento, creators of the beloved and successful TES and Super TES consoles. Console, consoles? Consoles. To develop what is basically a Super TES with a CD drive. Ooh. This could be the world's first console using a CD drive. Journalists around the world are baffled as only one day after Voni and Invento jointly announced the play system and at the entertainment conference, things have turned sour. Invento announced today that they will cancel the project and instead seek to develop a new console with a different partner. Rumor has it that the distribution deal, rumor has it that the distribution deal the companies had worked out was unfavorable to Ninvento, handing over much of the control to Voni. This seems to be the end of the play system. Oh, that was a nice nice thought, at least. Howell's actually doing kind of okay. Rank 25, steadily decreasing. Hey, I think our research completed. Neat. He's still reading his book. In two months, the TES will be taken off the market. The Super TES will replace it. That's fine. I think, is it Howell for the PC? I think Powell's for the PC. Uh, boss, it seems that quite a few players are using illegal copies of Howell. Hey, I've managed to identify some of them. We could either sue them to defend our copyright or send them warnings to ask them to stop. Eh, just warn them. Right away. I don't want to take anything too drastic. I believe I've always warned them a couple times. Give him a give him a second chance, you know. Howell is now off the market. It sold sixty thousand units, generating four hundred twenty-four thousand in sales. Half a million, not bad. Not bad at all. Jormungandr Games has recently sent warnings to several players using illegal copies of their game Howell. Piracy is an increasingly big problem in the industry. Some companies invest a lot of money and effort to fight piracy, while others argue that it's better to take a more relaxed approach and invest in better games instead. We have gained 349 fans. Hey oh, and on the topic of piracy, the game is this game is only $8. $8. Link in the description. Seriously.